Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, navigating the interface, what's changed and what's new. Let's get started. I'm here in ArcGIS Pro with an untitled project, and I'd like to go over the interface. Many of us familiar with ArcMap Desktop have found that ArcGIS Pro is not shy with its changes, which leaves a lot of us a little confused, and we're having to get used to the new interface. So let's take it from the top. Up here we have a ribbon. Rather than toolbars like an arc map, the ribbon here holds a series of commands that'll be organized by tabs. We can start here by the highlighted blue project tab. And within this tab, we can adjust our settings and view our licensing. If we click on options, you can select how ArcGIS Pro will start up. If you'd like it to start with the start page, with the default project, etc. You can also decide to change your theme from light to dark mode, which is nice and easy on the eyes. If we wish to return, we'll use this arrow here. Returning, you'll firstly notice that we don't have any type of data frame sitting. Whereas an arc map, you start with a blank data frame. Data frames have now been broken into maps, which you can create as new, or you can import an old one. You should note that when importing an MXD, it's going to split it into a new map and layout. You can easily change your base map here with the drop downs. Another thing to note is the quick access on the top. Here is where you would open existing or save your current project. In addition, you have a notifications bell. So if there's any updates, or if you wanted to see the results from an import, you could click here to see any pending messages. So let's return to the contents pane. In ArcMap, this may have appeared to you as the table of contents, but now things have been laid out a little bit differently. The contents pane will contain everything in the active map view, so any layers that are added will appear here. If I wish to have multiple data frames, I'll instead need to have multiple maps. And if I'd like to see, let's say, a map four up, so I have four different data frames, we'd have to create a layout. So let's quickly create one. You'll notice now that I have a new tab, and this is my layout. If I pop over to the catalog pane, you'll notice a new folder structure for layouts. And I also had created a copy of my map. So let's take a look here at the layout. Here I have a map frame and to the right, another. And I can easily resize these. In addition, I can go to the contents pane and easily change the map frame the layout points to. To highlight how the contents pane and the context aware ribbon work in tandem, I've opened up an existing map along with the layout. And as you see here, as I click on elements, different tabs will appear and disappear. See how it's now switched to map frame. And if I go back to my north arrow, it's switched to the north arrow tab, where you could then navigate to the ribbon and adjust properties. And if we switch to the map tab, you'll see the same. As I click on counties, you'll see the feature layer tab. And if I click on that, you'll see areas where I can change properties. The entire format and interface has been made so that you can easily close and reopen the windows you work with. You can simply navigate to the catalog pane and open up the maps you've recently closed. You can have more than one map and more than one layout in a project. And these can easily be dragged and moved about and resized. This goes for the contents panes as well, where we can separate our catalog pane from our contents pane. This way you can declutter your workspace or if you're working for multiple monitors, you can drag your map to encompass an entire monitor while having your contents and catalog panes on the other. So let's recap. ArcGIS Pro has utilized ribbon and context-based menu tabs to replace the old toolbars and menu of ArcMap 10. In addition, they've changed data frames to become map files that can be singularly stored and exported within the maps folder here and your print version or layouts are here in the layout folders. You can have numerous within a project and they can easily be imported and exported. You can save with the quick access toolbars here. There's also a notifications bell. And if you click it, you'll see your notifications here on the right. I think this is a great stopping point. Until next time, this has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us.
Also, subscribe and ring that bell.